you girl Cordelia, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> welcome. Yes, I'm blonde, uh, if you're new. <laughs> I'm blonde, okay, anyways. So today we are going to be watching TikTok POVs. Y'all, 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 y'all really enjoyed the first one. So much that it got to a million views. Who would've thought? Who would've thought we would be getting a million views? If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Um, I missed you. Today we are going to be watching TikTok POVs, like I said, and POV basically stands for point of view. If you don't know what TikTok POVs are, and if you don't use TikTok, basically, it's a way of acting without actually acting, you know? This is not a failing community on TikTok, it is thriving. Look, the last video, we went through a lot. We went through a lot. You know, a lot of people won't understand the struggle that we went through, you know? Um, we were stared at. We were stalked. Go away. Leave me alone. Please go away. And we were even spit on. Woo! Oh! That was an adventure that I didn't think I would be going on again. But here we are. Okay, so the first guy we're gonna watch. This guy was in our last video. His name is Jordy. He goes by the name Jordy. Jordy. He made an appearance in our first video, and let's just say he. <laughs> he scared us. Um, he scared me. Yeah, I had nightmares and I had nightmares. That's all, I, that's all I can really say, honestly. This man can make facial expressions for days. And I think that's what, that's what adds to his creepiness. You know what I'm saying? And I had to put him in the part two because I just wanted to see what he's up to. When I think of TikTok POVs, his face pops up immediately. I cannot not think about him. Let's just start watching his TikToks. Okay, so in this TikTok, we're his new therapist and we find out that he is possessed with the laughing demon. <laughs> I don't wanna laugh, y'all, I really don't wanna laugh, but it's like, a laughing demon? Do you know how scary that is? Do you know how scary a laughing demon? <laughs> Look, I don't play around with this stuff. Oh, where's my cross? Hold on, where's my cross? I don't play around with this stuff. I don't know what is going on. The man is bleeding and he's laughing. I just, I wanna know the thought process. What's the thought process, Jordy? What is the thought process? Let me in, let me in. Facial expressions make this TikTok even scarier. The blood, the laughter. You did that. Jordy, you did that. You did that. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Slight little interruption there. We have a sponsor. Hey y'all, it's your girl, what's up? <laughs> Today I'm here to talk to you about the Vanity Planet Aero Facial Steamer, y'all, y'all. I have always been really, really big on my skincare because when I was younger, I used to have skin issues. I used to have blemishes and a lot of acne. And through that acne journey, I have been able to learn that steaming your face is so important. It allows your pores to actually open up, detoxify the skin, and actually allow your products to penetrate properly. This is why when you get a facial or you get any type of face treatment, they always steam your face first because they know the importance of steaming. It promotes better blood circulation and so much more. I can't really rave about the importance of steaming in general more than I already have but this vanity planet steamer has really taken my skincare to the next level it's so relaxing and it's so small yet so powerful the good thing about steaming is that it is safe to use every single day you can also use essential oils with it that would really help with the relaxation of everything you can actually get it right now for 50 percent off with my code court 50 you can click the link in my description box i really suggest getting it now because it's typically sold out i don't know what else to say i really love this vanity planet facial steamer and i hope you do too and we're back. <laughs> Next TikTok. And in this one, we're at a party. Personally, I would not go to a party with Jordy. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know how you get when you're under the influence. You might start making faces. I don't, I can't handle it. I really can't. But we're at a party with him and he's playing truth or dare. He need us 
stop looking at me. Okay, you're trying to act like people don't know that you're looking at me. You're looking at me, you're looking at your girl. So that's that. This TikTok revealed everything that I need to know about Jordy because I think something's going on with him that we're just not aware of. And I think we need to have a verbal discussion because what's going on? So in this TikTok, he needs to his friend to save his family. POV, in order to save your family, you have to do everything the company tells you to do. You have to take your best friend's life who betrayed them. That's such a sad situation because like imagine your best friend is the only person that's been there for you and your family sucks and you have to kill her or him like dang this is a bad choice <laughs> Wait, can we talk about his facial expressions? Because wow, the emotion. Look at how his face is twitching. Oh my God, the tear! Jordy, is everything all right? Like there's really something about this that seems a little bit too realistic and I'm worried. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? Y'all really be acting. I need to make my own POV. I need to make my own. <gasps> Let me do my own. I should shoot my best friend. Hold on. That sounds so bad. But let's do it. Hold on. Yes, I, I own a color guard rifle. A lot of y'all were shocked that I did color guard. Yes, I did color guard in high school. It was a time. <laughs> That's my POV. I think that was better than Jordy. I'm gonna just keep it 100. I'm not and there's no favoritism here. I just think that I showed a little bit more emotion than him and but what do y'all think? <laughs> Vote for me. I like Jordy. I feel like I'm starting to get a connection with him. <sighs> but this man, this man, he confuses me, okay? He does some things that make me wanna, this is, this is his face, this is my fist. He makes me want to do that. Caption says, when you turn 18, you have a choice between $1 million or an instant coffee. To anybody that has sense, this is an easy choice. This is an easy choice. We know the answer to this. I hope everyone knows the right answer to this, but let's see if Jordy knows the right answer. Let's see if Jordy knows the right answer. You are stupid! Look at it! Why? Mm. Calm down, Courtney. Why? Why? Is it addiction? What would make somebody that is right in the mind choose coffee? Coffee? Jordy. <laughs> Jordy, come on. I thought Jordy was cool and everything, and then I found another TikToker that goes by the name Nicolas. His bio says, I'm 18 years old. Mm -hmm. That's literally all the information we need to know about him. Let me see what Jordy's bio says, actually. Believe, be you. Top. Believe, be you. Top. I'm sorry, Jordy, I don't understand. I don't understand. So back to Nicolas. POV, your brother comes back from his date and walks in on you. Yeah, I don't want to have another situation where I'm talking about siblings. I don't even understand the importance of mentioning that he just came back from a date. Like, it's so insignificant in the situation. You walked in on me. Dang, okay, come on. <laughs> Am I ugly? Okay, I just forgot. I just realized they're supposed to be siblings, so I understand the reaction. If this was any random person, I'm like, dang. Do I look that bad? Come on, come on now. So the door just all of a sudden doesn't work anymore? Where are we living? The moment you need to leave is jammed. That is problematic. And this is honestly a thing on TikTok. These TikTok POV guys are so obsessed with walking in on girls. I know for a fact we were taught to knock for a reason. Did y'all forget that skill? Well, honestly, I just can't get over the initial reaction when he saw me. Like, dang. <laughs> POV, he promised to watch over your every move and that's exactly what he'll do. Pause. Pause. I just want to know why this man's hook is so literally. Why are you staring at me? Why are you... Why are you 
people taking it so literally? When people say, oh, I'm watching your every move, that they don't mean for real. Like, they don't mean for real. They don't mean this. They don't mean this. What it POV, every time he says stranger, he resets the memory you have of him. So I get memory loss the moment he says stranger. Okay. I'm in love with you. Ew, I would never look at your forehead. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait. <laughs> Wait. He said he loves me. And I said I would never. Stranger. Who are you? Let me guess, Mr. Fivehead. my memory he took my memory and i still can't stop talking about his forehead nah y'all this is i know this man is stressed out he just wants me to stop talking about his forehead and look at me let me guess mr five head <laughs> just kidding just kidding i just know he wants to cry i just know he wants to cry this next guy his name is torvis he'll be someone was following you so you asked for my help to hide you staring at me he's staring at me you're staring at me I, <laughs> I'm scared I'm scared stop staring at me like I'm trying to hide why are you looking at me can we face fronts can we face fronts I know for a fact, I did not just come to you for help, only for you to try and help me, but then also sexualize me. I just, I cannot, I cannot understand what goes through these TikTok heads. I don't understand. What's going on? Is there a lack of home training? Is there, this is why we don't ask for help. Cause y'all be weird. I don't understand why you would see that I'm visibly scared. I think someone's following me and you try and help me, but then you just stare at my titties. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow me on all my social media. Follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and my... Uh, what else do I have? Subscribe! Subscribe to the channel. We're really on the road to 1 million subscribers. I cannot believe it. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the support lately. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. I love you and peace!